I had a soccer ball in flames, okay? On my back, lower back tattoo. I'm not proud, but it's covered up now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sydney LaRue, and this is my Women's Health Body Scan. I am major into skincare, morning, night, the whole shebang. I really try and take care of my skin. Sunscreen, major key. Moisturizer and like the neck and the hands. That's where you show age the most. Because I have darker skin, you feel like, oh, you don't need it. Everybody needs sunscreen. The only time I had bad skin was before I found out I was pregnant. I like went crazy like acne, like cystic acne. My teammate Ashlyn was like, what's going on with your face? Like I have never seen your skin like that. And I was like, oh, I know. And then I was pregnant. My hair is very difficult. Usually it's like up in a ponytail with a headband because I'm like working out. Should I wash it more? Probably, but our hair is different. So you're looking at like a once a week thing. But I'm always like oils and dry shampoo and blow drying it so like it's not sweaty and gross. But I also do the heatless curls every night. Key, I tell everyone, do the heatless curls. You get the little thing, pop it on your head, curl it around. You look crazy when you're going to bed. It will save you like 45 minutes, so it's worth it. And you don't put heat on your hair, so less damage. When I was younger, I went through my piercing stage. I had the one through the lip. I had my tongue. I had my septum. I had this, I don't even know what it's called, like a Monroe or whatever. Uh, I had this thing, whatever that is. I pierced it myself. I had some other piercings that I, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say on here. I think I got my nose pierced when I was 12. I guess my mom was super cool, but she was also like super strict. So I don't know how I got away with piercings and tattoos at like such a young age. But yeah, she like always let me be who I wanted to be and let me live my life, I guess. But everything is out aside from my nose and my ears. I love food, to be honest. And I'm not like the healthiest eater you've ever met. I do try. I try a lot harder now because I have kids. But before I really just ate whatever I wanted. And I have a really, really bad sweet tooth for like Swedish fish and like candies. Like I can't stay away from candies. I did try to be a vegetarian for like years, but I'm really picky with some food. So I basically lived off like asparagus and onions for a really long time, but I changed it. And now I have a healthier lifestyle. I am coming back from a pretty bad, rough injury right now. Well, I did like a bunch of crazy things to my ankle. I basically went in like a boot or a cast in August and I started walking December 28th. My scar is there. So I did my ligaments. I had a cartilage flap and I had a micro fracture in my talus. It's like the first time in a long time that I've been able to walk without pain. I had a hard time in the beginning because I had never really been injured before. I'd only been pregnant and I had something to show for that and I knew my timeline. And so this has been different for me. It's made me appreciate my body and, and everything that it's done for me. The timeline is, is up in the air, but I know that I'm getting closer and I'm hitting these things that I'm supposed to hit. Being able to deal with that has it's been a process and it's not always been easy, but I'm very proud of myself. I love my legs. They make me run and jump and do all the things that I needed to do to play the sport that I love to play and to do my job. But I, I would say maybe my stomach because I was able to have two babies. It was really hard to be an athlete and to see your body a certain way and then completely change into something different and something that you're not used to, to bring life into the world. It's different to go through that when your job is to be in like tip top shape. Seeing my body completely postpartum and like not having a baby in my body, but still looking pregnant for a very long time, <laughs> that taught me a lot. When I came back from my daughter, I came back 93 days after I gave birth to her. And everyone is like, that's so crazy. 
And I'm like, yes, it's crazy because I said that I was gonna do that. There was no stopping me and I was gonna do that. But I wish that I would have taken the time because I wasn't ready and my body wasn't ready. The second time around, I felt like I knew what I was getting myself into, but I also had another baby that I was like <laughs> taking care of. So I didn't really have as much time to process like what that looked like, but I also wasn't naive to the fact of like pregnancy is a big deal on your body regardless of what type of shape you were in before. It completely changes your body. Gift giving, with my gifts that I give, I'm very thoughtful. So if someone is like, oh, you know, it's like a random thing, I'm gonna get that for you. It doesn't have to be huge and it doesn't have to be like something having to do with like buying it. Like I could make it. And also quality time with my kids. I love hugging them and cuddling them. They both sleep with me, which is not good. I do say that I hate it, but secretly I like it. When they don't sleep with me, I will go get one of them <laughs> in the middle of the night and bring them in my bed. I have a lot. I've lost count. But this is like probably my favorite one. This is my soccer number and me and Gigi's number. And that means a lot to me. I had a soccer ball in flames, okay? On my back, lower back tattoo, soccer ball in flames. I'm not proud, but it's covered up now. <laughs> and I was like 14. And I only started early because I really wanted tattoos and my mom would never let me get them. And then we went to nationals with my soccer team and she said if I scored over 10 goals, I could get a tattoo. And I scored like 13, so I got a tattoo. Oh, I have my neck tattooed too. My family is not really fans of the neck tats, but it's fine, I like them. I remember being made fun of because I have like these really, really broad shoulders. And to be honest, sometimes they do look like a linebacker in a dress, but I also feel like I'm strong and I look strong and you can't mess with me, you can't mess with these shoulders. I think mental health is so important and I'm so happy that like it's become the norm to look after that. That hasn't always been the case. I have a therapist who I love and she's been so good for me and I seriously think everyone needs a therapist. It's the best thing ever and, and you're able to figure out different ways to deal with your stress of everyday life, kids, career, relationships, injuries. It's funny because when you're a high level athlete, you know, you hear it all the time. Oh, I, I'd die for this. And I would, I, I totally would have done that when I was younger. Soccer was my entire life. And then I had my kids and you realize that it is just a game and there is so much more to life. And I look at my kids and I'm like, what was I thinking? This is the best thing ever and I, I do feel like when I got pregnant with my son, he truly saved me because I was in a pretty dark place. Having kids and having something to take you away from your everything or what you thought was your everything changed my entire life. I also think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves at a very young age. I moved away when I was 14 years old on my own and soccer was my life. That's not healthy and I think it's very important to find other things that you love. I found that in my kids. Thank you so much for watching my body scan. Be sure to subscribe to Women's Health.